Hello and welcome to episode 5 of Redcraft. We've done brilliantly over the last few videos and I'm really impressed with the amount of views you guys have been throwing at me. It's absolutely amazing. I've actually just made YouTube part so I'm so happy. Yay. Okay, so today's episode, what shall we do? A um, little bit of a hint below us. I think today we shall start making a frog light farm. Now, I know you guys have probably said, oh, well, everyone's done a frog light farm. Yes, but I have never done one. And I want to see if I'm able to build one or not. So, without further ado, let's sort these frogs out, I think. Oof! Okay, so the first point we've come to is where we started mining originally a few weeks ago. So we're actually, if we have a look at F3, we're actually in the deep dark. So, which is good because deep dark is actually classed as a cold biome, believe it or not. So if we actually get out, turn the F3 off, we get. There's our tadpoles, there's our tadpoles. We'll get some out. Just pop them in here. Do, do, do. There we go. There's our four tadpoles. And now we get to AFK while this is running. And we can be right back.
Okay, so now that that fun exercise is over with, I hate you guys. Right, let's see what we can come up with. Uh, so we want some of that, some of that. Let's take. We're using iron blocks today because I keep getting moaned at about using cobblestone. I love using cobblestone. I think cobblestone is great. But so to start with, we're gonna actually build this up a little bit in the air. Just so that we've got plenty of storage underneath. What we're gonna to do to start with is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we're gonna go and fill that all in. Okay, so that bit is done. Right, so what we're going to do is build a trackway on here, if I can remember how to do it. Four, five. Okay, so what we want to actually do is make it like a loop around the whole lot. But I'll try and get these tracks right. that one bring that one for now okay so then we need to actually join up this side and that side I'm sure there's plenty of easier ways of doing this but I'm a noob I don't care so let's come along Place a few extra blocks. What we'll do is we'll pop the hoppers down this side as well. Like any blocks that go around the circuit. That'll be that. There's the rest of the rails. We'll do is we'll slow it down at the end here. The though is some hot for these for now. Do is we'll have four hoppers. Do is just pop these in here for now. place our rails over the top. Hopefully that should get any items that are coming in. That's all correct. Put down here for the moment. We got any levers we have. But obviously we want to be switching on these traps. That should power them all up. That should be it. Okay, that's excellent. That works. Right, when we get to this point, what you want to do is set up a 9x9 nine nine area. So, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Doesn't matter if the track overlays it. That will just be there to pick up any extras that might fall off the edge, you never know. Right, we need to get on top of this now. So what I'm going to do is put a block there. Right, so the next part is we need to build a two block eye wall of glass. It doesn't have to be glass, but glass is there so you can see what's going on inside. Alright, so as you can see that is done. The next part is you need to fill in 
all along the top here. Make sure it's an easy block to break. Only temporary blocks, so it won't be here for long. There we go. Next part is to find the middle block, I will use one of these. And it should be about there. Okay. So what you want to do next is get a load of chains out. I want you to just fill in this top part with chains. Make sure they are facing upwards and not across. All right, so when that bit is done, you want to Get rid of all the mud or whichever temporary block you're using. As I said mud is so easy to dirt. Oh, you've got good at dirt now. So easy to dig away. Ah, and that's that part done. The next part, be quite interesting, is to get the frogs up here. Be gonna I get out of here. There we go. What we need to be doing is build a bridge up to here so they can get in. So make sure you've got a decent sized walkway because fogs tend to like to kill themselves. So what you need to do is get all these lot. Okay, don't be like me and forget to put the most important blocks down. Make sure these are put up here correctly, otherwise the fogs can actually jump out. We don't want that. Out. Right, for the next part, what we need to do, we need to get rid of this staircase so no gas actually spawn. Do not want that. Make sure you don't fall in the process. Put that out. Okay, so next part we need to do is we need to extend these out by eight, I believe. That so should make a nine by nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, eight. One more. It should be nine by nine platform on either side. Okay, and then we fill it in.
Right, so I'm gonna go in ahead and do the other three. next part we need to be building a three high wall all around the outside as said before it doesn't need to be in glass but that is how I am going to be doing it so here we go Okay, as you can see, magma's already spawning. Right, for the next part... Oh, look at that, we've already got one down there. Right, what we want to do is we need to... Well, it's in the middle, I'll build it like that. What we need to be doing is getting some iron bars. Yeah? That's there. Uh, what we want to do is build a iron bar cage. Do it like that and fill in the gaps like so and then what you want to do is put one bar on each side like that and what we do is we place another one on top of that so it looks something like that right so We'll get some more bits out of this. What we now need to do is what we need to do is add in some iron golems. So make sure every time you do this, make sure you take away that temporary block or they won't spawn. Put one there like so. And get your temporary block back and do the same thing again. So one two three four take away the temporary block and there we go next thing to do will be to put a glass block above their head so we'll do it like so break that one don't need that one there and that should be that part done take away these temporary blocks so we don't fall down so what we need to now do is take away these iron bars here try not to hit the iron golems when you do it don't like that so the next bit we need to be able to do right, we take a our temporary box again is find the middle point which is just here but that high so you should be on level with that glass block so what we need to now do is build a straight line all the way across okay so when we've done that one little bit there, what we need to do is we need to build up these glasses every two blocks. This is to spot, stop gas from spawning. So if you want to go ahead and do that, I will get this done and be right back.
Okay, so now we've got the top all covered, the farm is nearly deep. So what we want to be doing now, putting out chests for them. I will just be putting normal chests on for now, and I will probably get dark side to come along. How did that place there? I wasn't even looking there. Axe. I will probably get dark side to come along at seriously go away as I was saying I'll probably get dark side to come along and put in a item sorter for me I am having no luck with these chests today all right so hopefully that should be enough of that First things first is we need to put on the minecart. Should be just here. There we go. The next thing we need to do is build an AFK platform. And so what I'm going to do is just build up. If you go to the top of the farm, so that would be about that height. We need to go 112 blocks up. I am going to do it in a fast block. Should have dead on 104 blocks there, yep. Two, three, four. Okay, what I've done is I've taken away the fog so you can actually see it's just loading up the truck. Now there's our portal. What I'm actually going to do, we need to build over to the middle of the farm. You're directly above the iron golem is a bit further out which should be about there I'm going to AFK up here for the next hour and we will see how many drops we get. he want hold on guys let me get in bc what's up with ya dude you're not picking anything up i mean i'm not picking anything up your hopper wine car fills up and you can't offload it fast enough because you're not on the hoppers long enough rip <laughs> um what <laughs> you died you fall down yeah. your boom I fall down good bum. Okay, um, um, where am I? Okay. Went so much in then. No, I don't even know where I am. Alright. I'm coming back. Don't worry. I see, I see your stuff. I see some of your stuff. Did you like fall? Please tell me you didn't fall. Oh my no, god. I did it at activating time. Yes. I'll on top of the farm. My elytra didn't activate. Uh, do I have a special thing? Do you have any special feels? Nope. There goes all my seven levels of experience. Oh god, so all seven? Yeah, all seven. So, tell me what's wrong with my farm. Uh, your... Do you have any blocks? Oh, I've got loads of blocks. Uh, your... Uh, the half of my cart is not loading fast enough. You're oh. not stopping. 
it's not stopping over the upper, so you're getting like one item, four items every time it passes it. Oh, but well, that's all a good thing. You need to make uh, an offloader. Well, this is where you come in handy. Of course. Let me get my roadstone stuff. Good, good. Oh, wait, I lost my axe. I'm going to borrow your axe. Okay, so let's get the shulker put. We'll put five in, so one, two, three, four. And then I'll put the fifth one on this last one here. Okay. Do you know how to make, do you know how to make a minecart offloader? No. I think that you should show me, being the noob that I am. After all, I am an idiot. <laughs> At least I didn't say it. <laughs> so what we want to do is... So this one here will come down here. So you, what you want to do is you want to have these wind powered here. And then on the hill, you want to have this one powered, this one powered, and then you'll have the hopper. So hi, it's Editing Duck here. I would show you the whole of this bit where we mess around trying to build a minecart unloader, but unfortunately, it would take me to about an hour and a half of video. So I'm going to cut it short here, but I know for a fact that Dark is actually going to bring out a video concerning this. So make sure you guys get over there and check it out as soon as he releases it. But for now, we'll cut across to where I go AFK and we'll get that done. Okay, so that has been an hour. Let's feed ourselves and let's go see how we've got on. Try not to crash this time. So many up there. Right, so, holy cricket. Not many in that one. That's fine. Right, so. Hold on there. I'll just count them up. Give me a second. Right, okay. So we've actually put everything in chests. So we know exactly how many items we've got. Quite a few, actually. It's more than I could ever hope for. So we have 1,471 pearlescent lights. 1,479 ochres. 1,481 Verdant. They're all about the same number. Within 10, really. So, that's really good. And we've got 495 Magma Creams out of it. Which gives us a grand total of 4,926 items per hour. Now, that is pretty damn good, actually. So, I could probably AFK up here for a few hours. And that'll be it for the entire season. It'll be fantastic. Right, so that is the end of this episode. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in and watching. You guys are amazing. You've pushed me all the way to YouTube Partner now, so that'll be coming soon. But for now, if you ever want to know how to build a farm, never ask me. Ask Dal. He's good at that stuff. But if you have some ideas, let me know. Chuck them down in the comments, 
and I will see what I can do. Now, don't forget to subscribe, like, and all that lot. And I will see you on the next video. Goodbye.